when you talk about brand building, sir, uh, I would like to ask you, Mr. Subramaneswar, uh, how do you, you can look call at me Subhu. <laughs> okay. Subhu, sir, how do you look at building a brand in the age of technology, specifically when AI is taking over the landscape in all fronts? Um, you often talk about brands to stands in the book you have mentioned, how people often buy into things and not buy things. And would you please elaborate on that a little bit? See, the idea of building brands, okay. uh, something that I was conversing with you yesterday, okay. I always keep, uh, uh, keep having this passionate argument uh, with, the, with the CMOs and people like Sandeep and, and many others. Uh, I refuse to believe that brands are part of marketing. Okay. Marketing is a subject that got created about 90, 100 years ago or 80 years ago. Brands have existed in this universe much before marketing as a subject came into our lives and gave us a construct. Okay. A, brands have existed for thousands of years. Every religion is a brand. Every god, goddess is a brand. Every city is a brand. And if you happen to, to be born in India and if you happen to be a Hindu, you have a you have a brand for every purpose also. Like every god, goddess has a different purpose and then we pray for that purpose. So that's a brands have always existed. So brands, I always look at it as part of culture. Okay, we are products of culture. Is exactly brands are part of culture. When you start looking at brands as part of culture, beyond marketing, not just marketing, then you can appropriate the societal and cultural innovations in the cause of brand, in the cause of building the brand. So that way, when I look at it, okay, several, the, 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 the idea of building brands has always evolved, e evolved with various things that have happened in our lives, different kinds of technology have come into play. Even when I look at the technology of, say for example, like even before I come into AI and talk about it, look at the way we used to form relationships and used to connect brands with the audience. There was a time we did with the radio and print and then television, then came internet, and then social media, and then we are talking about AI. Tomorrow it could be something else kind of. So you always keep pace with it. The fundamental idea of having a relationship, which is the brand, having a relationship between the audience and the product that I serve, product or the service or the entity, whatever, whatever we talk about, the idea of that relationship will always be sacred. That will never change. The manner in which I deepen that relationship, I want to deepen that relationship or I want to increase the engagement or the excitement or the interest levels for that brand. Those keep changing with the tools that I get into play. Because when, when people keep talking about, okay, now AI has come and how is it good? Of course, AI has come into life and it will never be me versus AI and it will be me with, with the AI. What do I do with it? Okay, what are the amazing things? Now, this gives me a lot of possibilities. Wonderful possibilities. These possibilities are there, amazing possibilities. And how do I use them to further build the brands? So, that's how we look at it. And, of course, it is... Uh, uh, there are a lot of... Uh, actually, there is something that I want to say and scare everyone. Okay? Though I am a practitioner of, uh, uh, of brand, uh, building brands. The interesting part to, at what is happening currently is that we are hardly scraping the surface as far as AI is concerned. But there is a lot of noise that we are doing. Lot of, it's interesting, right? Anything new comes, we love a new toy. And then, then love talking about a new toy. The actual thing, the, the real power of it, like when I, what, 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 what we are foreseeing is, I'll give you an example of, uh, say, uh, I, I was sharing this example with uh, Sadeep and Venkatesh yesterday. Take, a, take the case of oh, renewing your car insurance. How do we do it currently? Before the insurance comes up for renewal, the agent calls you up and tells you, this is what is up for renewal. Maybe like offers you a great deal. I'll say, go ahead and do it. We'll transfer the money. Or if we have time, we'll sit on an aggregator site. At best, probably we can process 10 or 12 or 15, okay, if you have time. So, and as AI gets deeper into our lives and we start depending more on the digital assistants, we will outsource a lot of these tasks to AI. Then the AI, in the same time that I take to process 10 or 12, 
AI will process potentially 250 or 300 and tell me which is the best insurance policy. And I'll say, go ahead, like from the back end, it'll, money will get deducted from the bank and then goes away. Now the question is, we have been trained to build brands for human beings. Okay, there will be a day you have to build brands for machines. That will be the one, that is when the inflection point happens. Interesting. And I'm still, like, I still, I always believe human intelligence, we make, we make machines more intelligent. And when, as, as they become more intelligent, we'll become even more intelligent. Okay, that will always be the play. And that will be the interesting point to see and how do we do it. And as I said, we will become more machine-like and machines will become more human-like and it will be wonderful to watch. Sandeep sir, would you like to add to that? Yeah, I, I would say, uh, I think tech has always intervened at different points in time. When computers came, uh, it felt like, oh, it will take away a lot of accounting jobs. It will take away uh, a lot of the number crunchers. It never happened. In fact, the roles, profiles change. Um, but the job is now getting done quickly. It is, you know, the speed has changed. I think what AI will come and do is change the speed to market. Uh, it will explode the number of options. Uh, and that's why we will need to reskill ourselves in how do we navigate those many options and those many choices that are in front of us. So fundamentally, I think AI is go going to be like a co-pilot. It cannot replace the pilot. Uh, or you won't run it on autopilot. So it is, it is a co-pilot and the best way is to co-create with AI. Fully agree with Subhu uh, there. And I think there are few areas in this whole marketing value chain uh, which will get impacted more than others. Like even today we are using AI for trend spotting, for seeing the trends. And now you can actually do trend spotting across the globe because the AI is able to help you a lot faster. However, uh, let's say so far we have used IT to simplify things that are left-brained, a lot more analytical stuff. So data analytics has become very easy. What AI is going to come and do is be the co-pilot for the right-brained activities. So it's going to be a lot more potent Creatively, you can actually experiment a lot at much lower cost, at a much faster pace. What does that mean? That we need to reskill ourselves to bring in completely new skill set which are unique to humans. We'll need to bring in more empathy. We'll need to bring in more creative judgment. And we'll need to build more consumer intimacy or people intimacy for us to see what of this is applicable. So... Actually, I'm quite excited with what AI has to offer. And especially in India, I believe that is, India is the cusp of something big because what AI could do is explode a different kind of creator economy which no other country can boast of because of the sheer diversity that India offers. I mean, imagine AI getting into vernacular creatives um, now the solutions are text to text, text to speech, and then text to video. And imagine if the creators get this kind of tools in their hands, um, we can actually go down to every dialect, every vernacular language, and we can have a completely new creator economy which we have not seen. So I'm personally very excited about what AI can offer.